Hello again, welcome back to the commentary section of the show following the fabulous show on the little Mevo, which was just a blast. That was so much fun. I love this thing, love it. Can't wait to use it some more and can't wait for them to get this thing onto streaming to YouTube so I can use it for this show when I'm out in the field. All right, uh, it's time to hit into the comments. So some other comments that have come up in here. Abishak says, Travel feels one of the few respected cinema, cinemagraphs, cinemagraphs? Um, on YouTube returned the GH5 recently because of terrible vlog L. Any response? None whatsoever. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I don't know what he did wrong, so I can't say whether he did something wrong or not. Um, I am just starting to get into the vlog experience myself. One thing I can say is that shooting vlog is not easy. You really, really got to know what you're doing. I have no idea if Travel Fields knows what he's doing or not because I don't know who Travel Fields is in the slightest. Hopefully they do. But if they got terrible response out of it, terrible, uh, terrible results out of it, then I'm thinking they did something wrong because all the, all the responses that I've seen of people who know what they're doing love it. So that's about all I can say. Uh, Martin says, now set with Chinese takeaway whilst watching. Can't miss the conversation. Why, thank you, Martin, for coming. China, oh, that sounds good. You know, that is something we are sorely lacking here in Southern Oregon is any good Chinese takeout. Is any good Chinese food at all. It's just no good Chinese food here. All righty. Uh, Trevor says, vlog is no different than grading any log. It grades beautifully. It does grade beautifully. And it is not different than grade, but it is different for shooting. You do have to know how to shoot it properly, for sure. Joshua says, will you do more in the field videos once the Mevo works on YouTube? That might be fun. Yeah, absolutely. I plan on using this as my live stream camera for as long as they'll let me keep it. I might have to buy one if they don't let me keep it, because it's kind of cool. Um, when I travel. So next trip that I do, which I have no idea when that'll be, or maybe I'll just like go somewhere else just to try it, go out to the park or something like that. And I don't know, maybe Sean will join me. Sean Mark Dimper will come join me. We'll go somewhere. We'll have a little conversation, try the switching. Maybe we'll even play with the live, the auto tracking thing and see how all that works. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do that, but not until it goes live to YouTube. Sounds like fun. Uh, Ryan is asking me if I'm not a fan of Wan Wan, the one that's in the Bymart lot. Dude, that place looks, have you, uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, that place scares me. No, not going there. <laughs> All right, did I order the DJI Spark? I didn't order the DJI Spark. I I love the idea. I almost did. I added it to my cart, and I was kind of like, ooh, looking at final specs. It's not 4K, and I know uh, for what it is, the people, who, the people, the target market for that camera doesn't need 4K, right? 1080p is plenty. They're putting that on their Instagram, little YouTube thing, a uh, little Facebook thing. It's great. I think the tech in there is phenomenal. I, I would love to play with one, uh, but it's not the one that I'm gonna buy. It also only has a two axis gimbal instead of three. So that's kind of important to me as well. Um, I want to buy the Mavic, but I figure at this point, I'm gonna wait until the Mavic 2 comes out, which I don't know anything about a Mavic 2. I'm just saying, obviously there's gonna be an upgrade to it, just like there are various Phantoms. What are they at, the Phantom 4 or something now? I will wait for the next Mavic, and that I think is what when I will buy my first drone. I don't own any drones, I've never owned one. So that will probably be my first one. The Spark is wicked cool though. I mean, it is, it's neat. It's really cool, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Okay, um, Joshua says, Mevo autofocus testing. Oh, the nightmares. Not autofocus, auto follow, because it has this whole tracking thing where you move around and it's supposed to track you on camera. So that we'll play, we'll play with. Marvin says, the legs don't fold in either. I don't, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't. Sean says, what do you usually eat when taking out Chinese? Anything good? There's no good Chinese here. Sorry, buddy. I know there's a, the Panda thing you like, not the Panda Express, the other Panda thing I know that you'd like. I, I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I just wasn't a fan. Okay. Um, <laughs> steak and chips with wine. Homemade wine? Oh, very fancy, Adrian. Homemade wine. That's excellent. See, when I'm in Slovenia visiting my wife's family, that's all we're drinking is homemade wine, but they have a vineyard. So um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, all righty. Let's see if there's any other comments that I missed earlier that were not relevant to the Mevo thing. I don't think so. Um, I think it, you guys are doing a really good job of keeping, keeping on track with holding off on the non topic related questions until later. I really like that. I appreciate that. It makes things easier for me, for sure. All righty. Sean says, sandwich it is. Ooh, we don't want to eat while we're on camera. That's horrible. No one wants to watch us eat, uh, eat Sean. That's, let's not do that. We'll do that. We'll do a live stream test somewhere else. Maybe we'll go to, the par go to a bar, but then you got low light. 
we'll find somewhere good. But first, we got to get YouTube support built into the app. Mars is now becoming a cooking show. Have you followed my Instagram? Have you follow me on Instagram? That is kind of like a cooking show. And this weekend, it's going to be gorgeous. I got plans to barbecue, got the tri-tip out, ready to go, doing tri-tip tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, Salman actually has a camera-related question for me. Thank you, Salman, for saving my ass here. What are your top three favorite lenses for the GH5? That's hard. Okay, I'm going to say my, my three favorites. I really like the 12 to 60, the one that's on here right now. This is the, the, the Leica 12 to 60. I didn't think I was going to like it very much when I first got it. Leica, like it, get it. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like it very much because it's variable aperture and it's kind of big. And I thought, you know, I'm going to use it because it, you know, it came with it and testing it, yada, yada. But, um, but I really like it. That has become the one lens. If I'm going to go out kind of vloggy style, that is the one lens that I will use. It's a little tight for a vlogging shot. So here, since we have it all set up, um, I can do that. See if I can do this without knocking anything over. So you like my new handheld vlogging rig? Pretty fancy, right? <laughs> okay, so if I do this and I go wide, I think that this is a just fine... I've got this on manual focus. Let me try and find my focus. There we go. I think this is a just fine field of view. I'm, I'm good with this. I don't need wider for vlogging. I know that some people like the 7 to 14 for vlogging. The new 8 to 18 Leica is going to be a very, very good one for vlogging because that's, um, it's, I think it's got a, a sharper image overall. I think it's, it's just a nicer lens. I don't have it yet. Um, you guys, if you guys were watching yesterday, Tom was on here and he was saying that, you know, we don't have any yet, but I hope to get one of those soon. But I think for vlogging, I think that this is great. And I get that extra reach. And I'm more interested in having the longer reach than having five people around me and being able to do this. So, um, so I really, really like that lens. The other lenses are going to be primes. The 15 1.7 is an all-time favorite for me. And that's both for video and stills. Love that lens. And then the Noctocron, the 42.5 f1.2 is insanely gorgeous lens. That's what the shot, the... Um, my test video is, uh, my training video, this shot right here, that is with the Noctocron. And the lens is, I don't know, it's a distance from me, but you can see really nice bulk in the background. It's not wide open. I think it's an F2 or something like that, so that I've got some depth of field on me, but then the background is nicely out of focus out there. Nice set, isn't it? I'm, I'm quite pleased with the set that I built there. Um, so that Noctocron is beautiful. So those would be my three. If I had to say, all right, go buy three lenses right now that are going to get you a wide range of use, photo and video, I would say those. If you were saying you wanted primarily video use, then I would say get the 12 to 35 f2.8 and the 35 to 100 f2.8. And then for your third lens to pick a fast prime that is in the focal length that you most likely shoot in. So there's that. Hopefully that helps. All righty. Uh, Marvin says, legs on the mic, mic fold in, but the ones on the Spark don't. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Mavic. Okay, legs on the Mavic. You're talking about the, um, the drones. Sorry. Legs on the Mavic fold in, but the ones on the Spark don't, so the Mavic's a better option. You know, I watched the video with, um, with uh, Casey, and he showed putting the Spark into his pocket, and he had the little kind of propellers sticking out. It was a little funky, but, um, but I mean, still thing's so tiny. It's, I think it's so cool. Uh, Martin says, I forgot which mic you recommended for the GH5. Any chance of mentioning and linking to your video? Why, of course, I'll mention that. So we'll link here to the full microphone review that Sean, Mark Nipper, and I did together. That was a lot of fun. Thanks again for that, Sean. Uh, the mic that I ended up choosing was the Shure VP83. It's, I just, I really like it. Um, the, the size of it, the profile of it, obviously the sound of it. I mean, they all sounded great, right? All the microphones sounded very good. Some picked up a wider field than others. This to me was a very nice balance. I liked the audio quality out of it a lot. I thought it was very good. Not to say it was necessarily the best audio quality. To some degree, it's subjective, but that's why we did the test. So you can check that out there. But that was the Shure VP83. Let me get this guy up here. And... It is the lens hopper. This is the one right there. So that's the mic that I ended up with and definitely get it with, here we go, with the wind jammer. So you want that. You want the, get the right picture up. There we go. You want this. Um, I, I have that on there. I leave it on all the time. It never comes off. So that's, that's my mic setup right there. It's very thin and low profile. And I think that overall, it just feels really good on the camera. When I'm carrying the camera, it doesn't get in the way. Some of the bigger mics could be kind of in the way. It feels great, so I highly recommend it. I really, really like it. And if it helps, that's the one that Casey uses as well. So, um, you know, I mean, the guy kind of knows what he's doing. He's got a few followers on, on YouTube from what I hear. I'm not jealous or anything. Uh, APN TV says, don't forget my review on the Olympus 9mm full of vlogging. Okay, uh, sure, you want to send me one? <laughs> 
No, I can get one of those lenses. Oops, I can get one of those lenses. Let's see here. Uh, let me see. You're talking about what? Olympus nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. Oh, the fisheye body cap lens. Is this the one you're talking about? Is this what you mean? This guy? I have. Don't I have that? I think I have that lens. I think that's the one that I have. Um, Okay, Ryan, I know this is a total stretch, but go into my lens drawer, look for what basically looks like a lens cap, <laughs> but it's actually a lens. See if you can find that. I'm asking like the impossible right now. Uh, okay, so we'll see if that's there. If that's APN TV, if that's not what you're talking about, let me know what you're talking about, but that's, um, that's a fun, fun little lens. Okay, Trevor says, are you planning more interviews with other companies? I'd love to see you sit down with the guys from Vedra or Atlas Company talking about Cine Glass never gets old. Um, I don't have any plans to. I don't, I don't know, that's not one of the things that I really have made an effort to do. I talk to companies on the software side for the podcast, right? So don't forget about the podcast, the, um, what's the latest one? I think this is our latest episode, the Cinemagraph Pro interview, interview slash demo. So that's the photo apps podcast. And the whole point of that is of course, to talk about apps, photo apps. I don't have plans to talk with more manufacturers. It doesn't mean that I can't. Uh, I would think, you know, traveling when meeting with them would be a lot more fun. And uh, I don't know, I'll keep it in mind. Sorry, it's, it's not something I really had considered doing, but um, I suppose I certainly could. Why not? Sure. <sighs> Trace is saying there's a Facebook Mevo group you should check out. Yeah, every time I fire up the Mevo, it says join the Facebook group. I'm like, all right, already, I'll do it eventually. APN TV says that's the one I did a review of it recently. Oh, you did a review of it. Oh, so you're, that's what you're saying is don't forget your review. Am I supposed to watch it? Did you link to it? Link to it again, put it in this video, link to it again. Sorry if I missed it. Anything with a link often goes into spam. Um, I, what I've have figured out is for those of you who have posted links a lot, when um, when I've released them, I've approved them after you know several times, it seems like now when you post a link, you're automatically approved. So it's a learning thing, which is great. Um, yeah. So anyway, post a link in there and I'll approve it. If I missed it before, sorry, but do it again. Did you find it? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, I know where it is. Right. It is in there. It's on one of the cameras, on one of the tiny cameras. Okay. Just bring me a handful of cameras. Okay. It's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, how many lenses do I own? A lot. But it, I'm sponsored by Panasonic, remember. So um, some of them I own that I bought, a lot of them are shipped to me for doing what I do for Panasonic. So I don't know. I've, I, I literally have a drawer with uh, foam cutouts and all my lenses are in there. I label, I don't have any lens caps here, but the back of my lens caps, I label all of them. Uh, nope, not that one. Nope, that's not even, nope, that's not this it. Is, that's uh, just a body cap, damn it. It's a tiny camera. I'm sure it's there. Just keep going. <laughs> that's the G7, love the G7 with the, which one was this? That was the, uh, uh, the 12, no, the 14 millimeter Lumix lens. So another pancake lens, really nice and thin, super lightweight. This is the one that I used in that whole car vlogging setup. Hey, watch the car, car vlogging video. That's the one. I just pointed, I know you weren't out there to see it. So car, car vlogging video yeah. is gonna go here. This is what he's talking about. This is the GM5. I really, really liked this little camera. This is super cute, super tiny. Look at this lens. This is from uh, Olympus. <laughs> here, do I still have this camera hooked up? Let me, let me set this back up here. Zoom in tight on this, um, focus on that. Oh, just autofocus on it, let's do that. There we go, HDMI, look at this thing. <laughs> oh my God, it's tiny. In fact, let's see here, do I have a, oh, we took it away, I don't have a body cap here. It's basically the size of a body cap. So I could put this on here and it's kind of no bigger than the body cap. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, let's do this. This is fun. I love this part of the show. This is this is where I can kind of do whatever I want. And if you don't like it, then tune out. <laughs> I'm supposed to get to say that about all, all the shows. Um, okay, you have the focus thing on here. You have infinity or 0.3 meters. So basically it's a close to, it's all that's, I think it's changing the aperture. No, it's not changing the aperture. I get, it's moving some element in there. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this on the lens, on the camera. <laughs> This is hysterical because the lens sticks out less than the grip on the battery by far. So there we go. Let's get that up, tilt that at me. And it's not very sharp, is it? Um, let's see here, let's go to the infinity setting. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's it. Okay, so there we go. That's the, uh, it's not a bad looking lens. And there's no focus, right? Because if I move the switch to the 0.3 meter, that's in focus. 
that's mostly in focus. Let's see here, what point do we lose focus? Kind of there-ish, we lose focus. So it's kind of this range, but for the most part, you would leave it in the infinity setting. And then there you go. Fun, right? Ha, <laughs> love it. Oh my God, it's so much fun. I love this stuff. Um, so yeah, APN TV, again, put the link in there. I'd be happy to do it. It's your go-to lens of choice now for vlogging. Oh, good, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, you obviously don't have any zoom, but you also have to worry about focus, do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, APN TV, it won't let you post the link here, but after the show is over, you can post it as a comment. So please do, because anybody who's watching this might, in fact, even do you better, once you post in there, we'll link to it here. So if anybody wants to see APN TV's video, or Ryan, maybe you can find it right now, but if you want to see APN TV's video on this lens, go check it out. I should use that thing more, it's really fun. Okay, Martin says you can easily lose that lens. Yeah, you could. Okay, um, anything else you guys wanna talk about? Otherwise we're gonna get, oh, sh I've gotta, oh God, it's 10.30, okay, I have to leave in half an hour, I've gotta shoot, I'm doing a real estate shoot today, I gotta pack up all my gear. So I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, Ab uh, uh, sorry, Abhishek says, hey, Photo Joseph, travel feels one of the fewer, yeah, I already responded to that. Um, Abhishek, I already responded to your question, so scroll back and look at it earlier. I'm not gonna respond again. Um, that's it. All right, you guys, thanks a bunch for tuning in. That was super fun as always. I'm now, now that I've got this thing up, I'm totally digging this view. <laughs> this is kind of cool. <laughs> that's cool. It is a good lens for this, isn't it? It looks good. It's sharp. Dig it. Okay, that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. We will see you tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll figure it out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.